Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about Dodge's answer to the pony car world, a 1970 Challenger. Give you all the details in but a moment. Today we're going to talk about our latest acquisition and is it a muscle car to remember? A 1970 Dodge Challenger RT. Oh my goodness, you're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish. Give you all the great details of this really well done car. And you can also look at all the details that that's going to give you because we're going to start the car up as well. So you're going to hear how nice this car really does sound in person. Now you can also click on the link and it'll take you right to our website and the information and pricing on this car as well. And it also gives you access to our over 100 additional vehicles we currently have an inventory. So we have a little bit of everything for everybody, cars in the 20s all the way up in the 2000s and beyond. So if you're looking for your first collector car or your 100th collector car, odds are Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers probably has it sitting on the sales floor. And remember that website, www.ellingsonmotorcars.com. Well, let's get into the details of this car. This is the answer, like I said, Dodge came out a little bit late to the game, 1970. They're a little behind, you know, the Camaro and the and the Cougar and, uh, you know, all the, the Mustangs, whatever. But Dodge still came out with a really remarkable automobile that really looks just like what you would expect a muscle, muscle car to look like. With the special hood, the darkened in patch on the hood, so, you know, for reflection. And just all around, you had engine options that you could not believe were available at that time, being 1970. Probably was the epitome of the muscle car world. Now, this particular example does have not original motor, but it does have a 440 in this car. It has been built, and oh, does it have a great sound. I'll tell you what, that's one of the reasons you want to watch this entire video, just to hear it run. I mean, there was a gal in, she was just here, her son. I said, I'll start it. Man, I made their day. Once they heard this thing, it just gets people all in the mood for the old muscle car world. So yes, you take a look at this car under the hoods, really nicely detailed with that 440, 727 automatic, got power steering, something that just makes it really nice for anybody can jump in this car and drive it. And of course, by 1970, now we've got radial tires. Uh, that is a big, big improvement in the old car world, no matter what, just for handling, rideability, and of course, the raised letter, the good look with the rally wheels as this particular car has. It's really a good looking deal. The other thing that we do have for this car, we have the original build sheet and the fender tag for this car. So this make sure this is a real one. This is not some made up tribute or whatever. It is a true RT in every sense of the word. And then you take a look at the inside on this car. I mean, you know, these were muscle cars, you know, the bucket seat, the center console with the center the automatic there. And of course, the rally gauges. That's always one of the big things. Speedometers go up to 150 miles an hour. Probably could probably get there. I don't know. We don't want to test that. I don't think that's totally legal, but <clears throat> any place that I know of anyway. But yeah, beautiful interior. The uh, green, the, you know, the green matches the outside of the car, which is the dark metallic uh, green paint, just really, that is its original color, by the way. Really, really nice color. Beautiful dash in this car. Everything about it's nice. And of course, they have the beautiful dual exhaust tips that come out the back. This is really one of those muscle cars personified. Someone has done a rotisserie restoration on this car. Uh, was the hands of a true collector for many, many years. Oh, well over 20 plus years. So you really have the advantage of someone who knew how to take care of this car, knew what it needed, knew how to do it. I mean, you start this car up, it's got a sound that just can't be beat. In my opinion, that's just, you know, old school guy like me. Hey, I love that sound. Now you can, like I said, you can click on the link and go right to our website, or you can find it on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and even TikTok now. You know, give us a like, leave us a comment or subscribe. We appreciate it very much. You get all the information on this car, our other current inventory, and as an added bonus, some of the cars we sold over the last several years as well. But make sure to always go back to our main website for current inventory. Don't be confused because some of those cars have been sold that are out there on those websites. Fun to look at, 
needless to say. No, it's one of those cars that just really, you know, I'm a guy who remembers the movie Vanishing Point. If you ever have an opportunity, you want to see a 70 Challenger go through the <clears throat> rigors of what we used to do with these cars, watch that movie. Whenever you have one of these makes, join the local Mopar club, join the local Challenger, the local, you know, clubs that specialize in the stuff. They'll give you information or answer questions. You find Mr. Wrench, you can help answer any of your questions you may have on, on the vehicle. Those guys are invaluable in this day and age. And they're getting to be fewer and fewer, but lots of them do congregate in the old car clubs. So I always say, if you have one of these old cars, nice thing to do to say the least. Now, if you're like me, you're gonna say, man, I really like this video. It really sounds great, but I wanna see it in person. Well, you're more than welcome to come on down to Ellingson's. We are open to the public. Monday through Friday from 10 to 5, Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. So if you got to come here and touch it, make sure it's real, yes, you can do that. And make sure that you fit in the car and all that kind of stuff. You know, 70 was a really neat year. I mean, it's the first that had the, the special door panels made, the, the recessed uh, door openers. I mean, it was just one of those cars. And I think it even has some special uh, crash uh, steering column that gives you a little in the event that you're in an accident. You know, Mopar was always trying to get some of that muscle car stuff out there. And I mean, they were trying to get in the game. They only did it till 74 and then it kind of went away. But what do the new Challengers look like today? I'll tell you what, they look very much like a 1970. And I'll tell you what, from 2008 and beyond these things have been popular and the real ones are even more popular so if you want to come down in person take a look we'd love to have you come by say you say i'm, I'm live out of state can you get it shipped to me we certainly can assist people getting cars shipped anywhere in the world uh, give us a call 763-428-7337 and we will do our very best to answer any and all questions you may have on this car or for that matter, any of our inventory that's in stock. We can also help you arrange, uh, get you in touch with some outfits that also specialize in collector car financing, because a lot of your local banks and maybe your credit unions don't know what a 70 Challenger really is, but trust me, those people that we deal with, they actually know what they are. Well, I'll tell you what, this is from my era of the, the muscle cars. It is gonna be one of those cars that's gonna be uh, the pride and joy of anybody's collection and it would be a blast to drive because this car really has a little bit of snuff under that hood, needless to say. So thank you again for watching our videos and we hope to see you next time at ellingsonmotorcars.com.